Hi, this is Mariano from Mama Fabric. The other day I was looking at PubNub and they have a new data stream, a real time data stream of tweets with a maximum rate of 50 per second. So I wanted to play with it, so let's do it right now. Let's create a new dashboard. Let's call it tweets. We will use the PubNub source, eCharts and widgets. So now we have our new dashboard, we go to design, we drag and drop a new source and name it tweet, tweets better. And let's go to configure and since we loaded the PubNav extension we have a PubNav source, we click OK and we get this configuration. So we go to the code part, which is there if we scroll a little bit and we have a subscription key which goes here and the channel which goes here let's go call this channel tweets and leave everything as it is so now let's close this and it's generating 50 almost 50 events per second so if we want to explore we can see that the tweets will scroll by fast so we will make use of one node which will be useful here just for exploration the timer, the throttle kind we say generate one event every five seconds so we connect to it and almost 50 events per second will come in and only one every five seconds will come out so we can explore without uh, a lot of uh, tweets scrolling by really fast the structure it provides is really rich in the user object we can see it has a screen name and name which are useful. It also has la lang, and of course, as we would expect, it has a text field with uh, what the user tweeted and more information. For example, some have geolocation, some don't. Some have the place where they are tweeting, and some other information we may want to use. For now, let's start easy. I tend to always start with the same. Uh, initial widget which is new sticker that allows us to see the information scrolling by much like uh, the Twitter timeline so I select tweet uh, new sticker and let's name it new sticker but of course we have to do some adaptation so we connect the source to an adapter and to the new sticker and go to settings the new sticker Required field is really simple. It's a field called val. So what we want is similar to the timeline, just the username, which was I don't remember, something like this. We will we can correct it later. We'd, let's make it bold. Colon space and this I think I remember. It was called text. So let's see, nope, username wasn't like that, user that screen name. So user that screen, I don't remember if it was all together, name, let's see, yeah. So let's see what else we can do with this. It has some colors, uh, profile text color and profile background color. Let's see if we can use them to color the entries. So we have on template set color and set label color. In this case, the, the color is sent as an hexadecimal string, so it's not easier as we like we build it here but uh, knowing a little bit about the colors on the internet we know that those should be like this user that profile background color and for label we will use the profile text color was it let's see text seems not to be working profile text color yeah it seems to be almost always black uh, 
and okay so we have the tweets yeah it, it changes because on some it's uh, more gray and we can see a purple over there so what else we can do uh, one thing I noticed is that may be interesting is the lang we can for example make a pie chart uh, by language or a bar chart so let's do that let's do a bar chart or maybe a pie chart for now we will set max slices, leave max slices to 15 so we only see the biggest 15 languages used we drag a transformer let's call it languages Which is template since it's an e chart and all e charts have the same configuration required. We the value will be one. We will increment one for each uh, language that we see because we want to accumulate and we will set the action to add. So we won't set the value but accumulate on the value. The series will be just one because we wa don't want to be grouping, do grouping of values and the label will be user that lang that lang click ok and we have our pie chart already let's make them a little bigger for now so our fifth uh, first 15 languages is english spanish japanese or portuguese and japanese are fighting turkish Russian, French, that may be Indonesian, but we have uh, some location also, uh, but not always it seems, because not all users have location. If we see, well here may, we may not see it, but geo is not always filled. So what we will see, we can do a bar chart so showing which how many users set set geolocation and how many don't so we will select a bar chart uh, geo versus no geo drag and transformer let's configure it first so here we will do some extra processing again uh, widget templates E charts required. This is the one we want. We want to set action add. The name will change according if geo is set or not. Siri, as before, it will be empty. Um, but we need an if, so we go to logic and say if we need some comparison. if geo is equal to null then we add an else label will be we will just set the text there uh, no geo no location let's call it and I don't know why I added the quotes. So if G is null, then no location, otherwise location. And let's connect it to the source. And let's use the layouts a little bit. And we can see that no location seems to beat location. But when we do have location, we may want to display it on a map. So we will use a region map. We will leave everything as is. Let's call it map. And with the templates, region map required. Let's, this will be it. Also here we will want to increment by one value each time we see a tweet. 
and label will, will be uh, I don't remember it it was place that country code or something like that and it's not working I know why I will fix it after but uh, if we see the country code is in uppercase and the map expects the country code in lowercase we can fix that right now I will fix it later uh, on the code so it accepts both kinds but we can fix it here that's the good thing about event fabric we can add logic to go around problems or limitations on both the data or our platform uh, so we, s we make it lowercase and we start having some information we see that Brazil, United States are going ahead Turkey, Argentina, Germany, England and Indonesia which, yeah, Indonesia are in the second tier and Japan also and let's do a nicer layout now that we have more things this seems to be okay this labels. Oh, well, let's make the pie chart a little bit smaller. Uh, if we go here, we can set the radius to 50%, so the labels are not over the pie chart. So we have a in I don't know 10 minutes. We have a, we have analyzed a stream of uh, data we didn't know about before. Uh, one extra thing we can do here is uh, some some inputs some tweets may not have a place so we can add a filter in the middle that's why that error happens so what we do is um, we go to template filter templates if place is different from uh, logic null then keep otherwise don't keep it and then we can there is we can clear all the bubbles so we see it some see it filter one already and almost all of them have place set but some of them don't so uh, it's better to filter it so as you can see we have a stream of tweets we have we can explore how many have location set or not which language is prevailing and from where the tweets come from all done uh, while exploring the data stream and uh, you can see the dashboard can handle more than 50 events per second of course to do this uh, it doesn't update the dashboard every time an input comes because it will make the dashboard go crazy but uh, it can handle it and you can run it from everywhere so I hope you enjoy this and let us know if you have any comment on this bye